so yeah, I'm Loredana. I've been working for the past year uh, on layer two scaling solutions for Ethereum, uh, unidirectional and bidirectional payment channels. But I'm here and I'm still working on that because it's still quite important for the Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, but I'm here to present a personal project of mine, which actually as an idea started even before I joined the Ethereum ecosystem as a developer. Uh, which sounds a bit weird because I've presented this as an ID for building smart contracts, but it's actually part of a bigger idea and a bigger vision. Um, and to offer a couple of details about this, um, so I graduated medical school, but we've been, me and my partner have been interested in the semantic layer concepts, uh, linked data and intelligent agents. And at some point, we were trying to build um, tools related to this for the medical field. So um, I've been working, I had a period of time where I've been working a lot with terminologies, ontologies, medical ontologies, even translating a lot of terms and um, building tools for medical imaging and uh, physical examinations, for example. And yeah, a, a couple of, I, I do video demos of uh, prototypes that I've been building. Um, so we were trying to kind of see how we can build tools that interconnect with each other and interoperate. And this is also stemming from my experience as a medical student. We had a lot of information to cover, but somehow there was never a structured knowledge framework to build this, to, to build all the knowledge. Um, so I kind of returned to programming because uh, why not building uh, software applications is more clear than the human body, right? Maybe not really. Um, so, what are uh, just a couple of problems that um, the normal web now has uh, for actually building seamless interconnected uh, projects? This is the dream, right? So, one is availability because sites can crash all the time or can be, become unavailable. Another is discoverability. Information can be hidden or censored. And another one, standardized APIs. Um, and now looking at the Ethereum ecosystem, because there are already a couple of projects and I imagine that a lot of projects will um, still be built. So one problem that projects usually have is how can they interoperate with other projects? Because you can find yourself having a governance system, you have your own token, then you want to connect with other tokens. Um, so then maybe you need a decentralized exchange, maybe you need to provide your users with multisig contracts or identity contracts, um, maybe you need token curated registries or reputation based registries for your governance system. So what you end up doing is either building them yourself or choose projects that your project collaborates with and maybe you end up doing an integration system that is actually not general but specific specific to your needs and maybe that's not good enough because i envision a system where users can choose their own services that they want <clears throat> and still um, the dream of a normal user a non-developer user using the Ethereum ecosystem is still pretty far away, right? So we want Pipeline to be an ID for building smart agents, not only smart contracts. What is a smart agent? So it's an autonomous entity which observes through sensors and then acts upon a logic that can enable him to make decisions on behalf of the user. So how would this agent look like? Just joking here. Um, for now, at the moment, uh, this is how an agent can lo looks for us for pipe in Pipeline. You have building blocks that you can just drag and drop and connect them with lines and arrows and you can build a system for yourself. So a personal smart agent for non-developer users would look like this. 
uh, they would have a personal smart agent contract or maybe more um, where they can connect um, integrated services and you also have a client application that maybe has an ICUI and it can, for example, observe uh, blockchain events or m information from various sensors and then can react. Um, and it can react by making, for example, on-chain transactions. Um, this client application should be able to run locally, so you, you, the users shouldn't need a centralized system for this, or can be deployed on the cloud. And we want to be able to build this smart agent from a JSON string. Um, and that JSON string, you can store it yourself. You can also upload it to the pipeline smart agents database. So after you actually build a smart agent, other users can use that agent for themselves and deploy it. So they don't need to spend a lot of time researching the services. What we want to really help with is interoperability between projects. So um, we need building blocks. We need references to other projects, APIs, deployed Ethereum addresses, and contract sources. And this actually is an important piece because a lot of projects um, would need this, especially blockchain explorers, for example. They would need the APIs to at least decode event data. We also want to make smart contract development secure. So these building blocks, um, the, the easiest way is connecting various projects. So a non-developer user should be sure that what he deploys on the blockchain is secure, and this is what we want. And for a later version, we want to also include code patterns. Um, I'm now going to show you a demo, if, I'm, if I can, with the screens. Uh, this is a already deployed online demo that you can actually uh, test now. Okay, so I have to look here. Um, I have prepared a couple of contracts as demos, so we will be using these contracts here. And this is our uh, canvas. Ah, this is this is going to be hard. So we also have uh, the documentation for each, for each function. And this comes from uh, the smart contract source. And you should just be able to connect the dots here. So we have a get vendor function from the vendor registration contract. This is the contract where uh, vendors can register themselves, for example. Um, and this is just for the system to work, this will be the product ID that we will give. And 
And after we actually connect the dots here, then we can look at the solidity code that we have. So we have a general uh, proxy that pipes all these transactions. Then this is the contract that is created by pipeline. And we can see where we actually call the functions. So this is the pipe function, get, get vendor function that will um, return an appropriate vendor. We can have there a rating system for vendors. Then the calculate quantity. So this calculates how much of the product we can buy with the amount of ether that we send. And then the actual buy transaction. And this is a job, of, and so this is a prototype. I've been working on this uh, not more than three weeks, actually, in my uh, so-called free time. And this is the, the JSON for uh, the diagrams. We can add here other uh, things. For example, we can see when a vendor has added more available quantities of a product and maybe we want to actually buy all the product that it has. We connect the dots here and uh, we see that it has been added in the contract. And this is kind of a first version of how an intelligent agent might be. Uh, it sees the, um, the blockchain event and then calls the function to buy the product. And I actually wanted to also show you something else. Because uh, we are trying to, so the, the first, the initial version will be oriented to non-developers. So we want to gather uh, more users to use the Ethereum ecosystem. And the best way to actually do this is mobile. So we wanted to make this also available uh, for mobile. And I wanted to show you that it works on an iPad. But I'm probably going to have a lot of uh, issues with the local network that I've set up here. So I can just show you how it looks here and the fact that you can drag and drop stuff. So the system works exactly uh, as you guys saw. Now going back to the presentation, this is. OK. So to, to summarize the project, um, Pipeline will help with interoperability between projects. Uh, it will enable you to choose your services and create your personal smart agent. We'll make smart contract development easy and secure, and we want to provide easy access to deployment, testing, and debugging tools. Um, yeah, so these are some contact details. And uh, now I have a couple of questions for you. Um, which one of you wouldn't use such a system? 
Why? Okay, but ah, so you you are capable to actually build a smart contract system by yourself. Sure, we plan one to actually audit the entire system before. Um, releasing it into production, of course. And also, um, we plan to make the contact much easier with um, auditors, for example, for the smart contracts. Because yes, I agree, this is, um, any bug can just make your system fail. But yeah, if uh, only one person wouldn't use, then there's hope. So, yeah. Yes, th this is this is the idea. So we want to actually bring normal people into the system. So then a next question would be, um, who thinks that their parents wouldn't use such a system or wouldn't be able to use such a system? I, I'm, a I'm asking the correct question f to actually get a correct answer. So I'm not asking you who would use it. I'm asking you who wouldn't. So why? We're trying to make it simple, dra dragging and dropping. I, I know the struggle, uh, but yeah, if there are any other questions. What, what help do you need to make this go faster? Uh, a lot of help. <laughs> So for, for one, I would need collaborators because at this point, um, so I'm, I've built the prototype myself, uh, but for this system to actually be secure enough, uh, I would need help in development. And yes, this comes with either voluntary work or funding. I don't have any funding. Uh, yeah. So the question is, is if, if there are plans for interconnecting even uh, what smart contracts or systems um, pipeline creates as an output, right? Yes, yes, th that, that was kind of um, an idea that I slipped into uh, the fact that we'll have a database of such agents that can then be used by other users and maybe that can also be treated as a component. Yeah. I didn't quite understand the simulation part. Oh, simulation or uh, debugging such a system or?
Um, yeah, I, I understand your point. It's quite interesting. Um, and it, yeah, that, that would be a great idea for complex systems to actually see. Yeah, yeah, we're still in the beginning. And Okay, uh, so there wasn't a specific question there. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I agree. You can end up modeling business processes in logic. And also, in the first version, depends on what's already there in the ecosystem. Thank you very much for listening.